Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another episode of The Viking Beard with me, Matt. And as you probably know if you watched any of my videos whatsoever on my channel, I'm trying to grow myself a big, nice, thick, dense, epic Viking style beard. First time in my life I've actually consciously gone out and grown a beard as opposed to kind of like can't be bothered to shave, which is nice because I haven't got to bother about shaving now. And on my channel, I'm kind of reviewing sorts of various different products that I'm sourcing for myself and stuff that's getting sent through. Beard products, skin products, hair products, bits of clothing and all sorts of different things. And what I'm priding myself on on this channel, that all the reviews that I am doing, I'm not affiliated to these companies whatsoever. It's my own honest opinion, okay? And I have said to any company that's sending anything through, I'm going to give my honest opinion. We all have different opinions, which is cool nowadays. Stuff that I might like, you might absolutely hate. Stuff that you might love, I might absolutely hate. So it's all open into interpretations, but I'm trying to give you my absolutely honest opinion on the products that I am trying, okay? So tonight we're going to be looking at a company called Savage Alchemy. If you did watch a few videos back, I'd done a review for them for a gift set that they sent through, which was called The Serpentine. They've sent me a different one through to have a look at, thought I might like it. So, like I said before, this is my own honest opinion on it. And here we go. So, through this review, we're going to be talking about the packaging, the scent, what's in it, the price point of it, what I think of it overall, and... I'm going to put all links to Savage Alchemy down below, their Instagram, their website, Facebook and everything else. So please feel free to check them out afterwards. And at the end of the review, you're going to be scoring it out of 10. So zero being I wouldn't touch it with a stinky stick and 10 being absolutely fantastic. Never going to stop using this or putting this down. Five in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of all right. There you go. Not too bad. So here we go. Let's have a slurp of coffee first. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so like I said, this is from Savage Alchemy. Now, the one that I tried beforehand was the Serpentine. Like I said, absolutely phenomenal. I love that one. They've sent me another one through to have a look at, which is called the Rhodonite. Rhodonite, depending on where you are and how you want to pronounce it. And we'll talk about and look at the packaging first. So this is the bottle that was sent through. 50 mils of beard oil. We've got 30 gram tin of the beard butter, and we've also got a 30 gram tin of the beard balm. So I like the tins because they're nice little travel tins. You can sort of take the top off, use it. I like the way that the glass, the bottle is actually made out of glass, and I love pipettes on stuff. A lot of people have their own opinion and prefer pumps and stuff. The one that I really don't like that some companies seem to put on their bottles is like the shaker with a small little hole, and you sit there shaking it like that or tapping it, and it just ends up flying everywhere. Pumps are great, pipettes are great as well. So the packaging itself. All the different scents that they are doing come with a different colour. If you look at the Serpentine one that i done, that was a green. This one is a purple. It's got the Wolf logo on the front, which is pretty swish. And the name of it underneath, obviously it's a beard oil. And around the back you've got your directions and ingredients and blah, 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 blah. So, yep, pretty cool. I do like the package on this, and I have learned with the reviews that I am doing another judge of by, book by its cover. So, people are spending more money on packaging than you get in the product, and you go, mm, it's not particularly good, and vice versa. So, never judge a book by its cover. Something might look nice, but it might be absolutely horrible. Something that might look cheap and nasty might end up actually being absolutely fantastic. Now, this isn't a straight out of the box review. I have used it, I know exactly what it's like, how long the scent last for and everything else and how they perform because I've been using it there's no point in just going well look it's a butter and a bomb and an oil so here we go now like I said on the other videos I like my outdoorsy flavor I love or scent I like the idea of walking through sort of crisp winter mornings and the smell of oak pine cedar and everything else and that whole sort of 
imagery of walking through forests and stuff like that. And at the other end of the scale, I love my really sweet stuff as well. And it'd be interesting to see whether any companies bring anything out for Halloween or around Christmas time, because if someone does start bringing out like a spiced pumpkin foresty smell that's going to be my ultimate one that's going to score a 10 out of 10 so anybody out there that can make that let me know okay so talking about the ingredients of the the products in general they use the finest quality natural and organic stuff in them which is great news because the last thing you want to be doing is slapping chemicals all over your face and everything else like that is not good for your skin not good for your hair and plus with chemicals you don't really kind of know the side effects and what they're going to do so it's nice when you get natural and organic stuff so the three different scents that they do is the serpentine which is the cedarwood cypress and juniper berry they do the Celestine, Celestine, whichever you want to call it, whichever way, which is peppermint and eucalyptus. Now that is one I don't think I'm going to like because I hate peppermint. I hate mint in general, apart from the mint that you get that's in the flower that you put in with your potatoes and stuff like that. Not a keen, uh, keen advocate of mint, don't like it particularly, which is great when you brush your teeth because that's all you get is mint flavoured toothpaste. And this one, the Rhodonite, Rhodonite, depending on what you want to call it, which is lavender, ylang-ylang, and it's lemon as well, which sounds quite an odd combination. So, let's crack open the bottle. It's been opened anyway, but let's open it up and have a smell. Like I said, I have smelled this before, used it, I know how long roughly it sort of smells, when the scent lasts for. Now with this, the underlying note is the lavender. The serpentine that I reviewed is quite a punchy, in your face kind of scent. And you sort of take the bottle off and you can smell it's there. This one isn't in the middle, it's not low. It's kind of between the middle and the puncher in the face. It's there, it's definitely there, but it's not a savage poof, smack in the face. And the thing that I've noticed with these beard oils and balms and stuff that I'm reviewing as well is I kind of like had my scent profile of stuff that I actually really liked and what I didn't really like. And a lot of the companies that have sent stuff through that I've never really kind of like thought about scents and everything else like that in my life per se. Um, that it's kind of opened my senses up to lots of different sorts of things. And rather than now just going, oh, don't like that, it's kind of like, that's actually quite nice, I like that. And this one doesn't really sort of invoke a feeling in me as in traipsing through a field of lavender whilst having lemons thrown at me, but it certainly smells of it. So the base note is a lavender. You can also smell the ylang ylang coming up sort of around it. Then you kind of like getting a zesty lemon over the top of it. So it's almost coming through in stages. And what I have noticed with the oils as well that I am doing now is warming them up because the smells level or layers of scent in there almost change when the oil slightly heat up and smelling it from the bottle when it's almost cold to how it is when it's warmed up does change everything sort of slightly in there. So let's have a squeeze of this and you can see what it's like. Obviously kind of like a yellowy colour, a few drops of that. Rub it in my hands, do the grease test, see how greasy it looks. Slight shine, but nothing ridiculous. And in their oils, they're actually using hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, and sweet almond oils. Bit of a bit of brush, brush it through. And silly kinks back in it again, never mind. That's the way it is, that's the way it's supposed to be. Bit of the arms, back of the head, we haven't had a cut. Okay, so I can smell that coming off from my beard and it's a nice midway sort of subtle scent that you can smell coming off and it's nice when you do go outside and there is a breeze and it runs through your beard hair, you kind of get a bit of a waft of it up through the nose. Like I said in other videos, I do work in a hot sweaty environment and it, it's lasting me around about two hours before you, it sort of starts dying off a bit. 
which is nice as well because you kind of like miss that scent from it. So it's nice when you do get home, have a shower from work, throw some more oil and stuff through your beard hair and you sort of get that smell back again. And the smell, surprisingly to me, which is a complete surprise because I didn't think I'd like it, is actually really nice. I did get one from another company lot long ago and that's kind of opened the nose up to loads of different possibilities now. And I do like that one. Like I say, it doesn't invoke any sort of memories or anything like that, but it's a nice, nice scent. And it's kind of one of those scents that you got a partner, male, female, whatever, they're going to like that sort of scent. It's a nice scent. Some of the scents are very masculine scents and sort of really thick, heavy, musky scents. This is kind of like a quite nice one that the person in your life is going to like and love the smell of as opposed to going, cool, what you got that in there? So moving on from the oil, the oil is really nice. It does seem to soak into my beard very quickly. It's not a claggy oil that seems to kind of like grip everything together and you feel like you're full of a deep fat fryer. So it's quite nice and obviously, you de depending on how long and thick your beard is, depends on how much you put in it. But yep, yeah, it's nice consistency, soaks in, skin feels soft underneath, not suffering from beard draft or itchy problems or anything like that. So moving on, we have the beard balm. Now I've used this, and the thing, I'm, the smell is obviously exactly the same between the three of them. And the thing that I like with Savage Alchemy's beard balm is they've kind of got as you know, a beard balm's kind of got the stuff in from the oil, but it's also got beeswax, stuff like that in there that kind of like, is almost like a styling agent. And some companies, they kind of like almost put too much beeswax in there that your beard, whatever, if a wind catches it, it just sort of stays in that position. And this has got enough to keep kind of like the straggly hairs down and gives it a bit of hold, but nothing ridiculously stupid. So it's not, not enough and there's not too much in there. It's just right. Goes on nice and easy, emulsifies really quickly in your hands, scraping off literally about a pea-sized bit on my finger, on my fingernail, working it through my hands, runs through the beard really quickly. Use my comb just to hold it all in place. And then on top of that, we have their beard butter. The butter is really f funny because I can't say that I've really used the butter before in my life. It's tended to be the oil and the balm to kind of hold it there. The butter's nice. It's almost got kind of like a icing sugar, uh, what's it, but, uh, butter icing sort of feel to it, texture. And again, that goes through your fingers and emulsifies really, really quickly. We'll just take a little bit out so you can see the consistency of it. Dun, dun, dun. You can see what I mean about that sort of icing sugar sort of look. And if you look a little bit on my hand, how quickly that emulsifies, because I know it's a butter and obviously it warms through. There you go. And the smell when you warm the road night up does seem to come alive a lot more than just sort of smelling it straight. Because I know you're obviously heating and warming the oil through, which obviously works. But it's it seems to kind of like awaken the scent. And I don't know how they've done it, but Savage Alchemy have come up with another fantastic product that I didn't think I was going to like. I thought I was going to lavender. Don't really, but the way they mixed it with the ylang ylang and the lemon, absolutely fantastic. Now, let's talk about the prices. Okay, the oil on its own 50 mils of oil, £15.99. Not bad for a, for a 50 ml bottle, you can't complain about that. £15.99, it's not ridiculously high, it's not ridiculously cheap, it's kind of year in the middle. Not a problem, I have no problem at all. All qualms going out and actually buying myself another bottle of this. It smells absolutely lovely. I would possibly go out and buy myself another bottle of the Serpentine, but that's just because I love my woody outdoorsy scents. You've also got the balms. Let's just check this one, is the balm, is it? No, that's the butter, isn't it, this one? Oh, I haven't got my glasses on. No, that one's the butter. Okay, the beard butter is £10.99 for a 30 gram tin. Again, 
it's fine, it's about sort of average. And you've got the Beard Balm, which is £12.99 for a 30 gram tin as well. Now let's go into the sets just very briefly that you can get. You can get three times 50 mil bottles, which is your Serpentine, your Rhodonite, or your Celestine. I'm sure they'll probably do it where you can have all three of the same or in or whatever you like. That's not bad as well, because you obviously save money on that. So three times 50 mils is £41.99, which is cool. But you also do, or they do the balm set, and they do the butter set. So the set of all three balms is £32.99, and the set of the butters is £26.99. So each one has got its own set, so you can buy all three oils, all three balms if you want, or all three butters, or they do the set of all three of the products in the different sense. So you've got the Serpentine set, the Rhodonite set, and the Celestine set, or Celestine set, whichever you want to call it, and they are £33.99. So bearing in mind that the oil itself is 15 quid, then you've got on top of that 12.99 for a balm and 10.99, not bad at all. So I would highly recommend and go out and get this because it's a nice little set that you've got everything that you need there. The scents are absolutely amazing. Please don't quote me on what the Celestine or Celestine's like because uh, peppermint and eucalyptus not good. one of my best ones. So now we come to scoring it out of 10. I am going to rate this because of the scent. The product is brilliant because I like the way with this. It's made in small little batches. It's not a massive company that does it. They care a lot about the product. The consistency of the oil and the balm and the butter is pretty much identical to the... Serpentine one that I've got, so it's very whatever sort of scent you buy, it's exactly the same product sort of underneath it. Maybe good stuff, but because there is lavender, ylang ylang, and lemon, wasn't a flavor that I thought or scent that I was going to like. I'm going to rate this one so zeros there, fives there, tens here. I'm going to rate this one. In my opinion, yeah, I'm going to rate this one at 9 out of 10. The reason being, I don't know how they've bloody done this. They've come up with a scent that I thought I was going to absolutely detest, never touch, and hate to use, and just leave it on the shelf to gather dust. They've made a scent that is actually very, very nice. That does not mean I want to try the, Celest the Celestine, because, like I said, peppermint, and eucalyptus. But they've made a scent that's absolutely tremendous. It smells exactly what they say that it smells like. The Serpentine done exactly the same. And I'm sure probably the Celestine does as well. So they've, it does smell of exactly what it says on the tin that it's going to smell like. I love the packaging. The price point, spot on for the product you're getting. So 9 out of 10. Well done, guys, you've done it again. I'm not sure how you managed to do that because I didn't think I was going to like lavender, but there you go, you've done it, so well done. Like I say, I'm not affiliated to Savage Alchemy whatsoever. This is my entire opinion, and if this had turned up and I'd have absolutely hated it, I would have scored it appropriately. So definitely hats off to Savage Alchemy for coming up with something that I thought I'd hate, but actually it's really nice and very, very pleasant and a pleasure to use. Now, I will provide links down below to their social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, um, their website and everything else. Please feel free to like, comment and please subscribe. I'm possibly thinking of doing a giveaway at some point. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away yet, but I'm sure I shall find something. <coughs> and should you have any things yourself that you would like me to try and like say if you come up with that winter set with a sort of like a pumpkin spice cinnamony based stuff i'm gonna die for that one um please feel free to contact me either on instagram youtube through my email and everything else if you do have any sent think sent through please feel free to comment because i do love reading your comments thank you guys for watching another video i hope to do another one very 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 soon for you and Take care of each other, keep loving each other, keep growing those beards. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great evening. Take care. Bye.